New drone video shows the destruction and recovery more than seven months after the Gray and Oregon Road wildfires. Hundreds of homes were destroyed in the fires, but as spring arrives, those communities are beginning to take their first steps to rebuilding. Helping with that process is FEMA. The federal agency arrived in town following President Biden's major disaster declaration back on February 20th. Well, today I had the chance to sit down with FEMA's coordinating officer, Duke Davis, to get a better idea on where recovery stands. Today, Davis told me that so far 473 people have registered with FEMA for assistance. And in terms of FEMA, that comes in the form of grants to homeowners who were impacted by the fires. David told me that there's a misconception that those grants are only available to homeowners who didn't have insurance. That is not the case. He said they've already helped people who were insured, but whose policies didn't cover items impacted by the fires, things like HVAC or wells or maybe ADA ramps. He said of those 473 people who've registered so far, they've already made about 43 payouts. Those grants can be up to $80,000. His message to people impacted by fires, register with them now because the window to do so is closing. We're waiting on 207 folks to bring in their insurance policy. Please come in, talk to us, and let's find an opportunity in your particular situation to get to yes and get you some assistance. David says wildfire victims have until April 20th to register with FEMA. Again, that's when the window closes, so reach out with them before that date. FEMA still has two recovery centers open, by the way. One at the County Church of the Open Bible in Elk. The other is at the Medical Lake City Hall. We also have their contact information on our website. Just head to creme.com.